Well, hello, boys and girls. How are we today? Um, I'd like to thank my 21 fans for watching my video yesterday. That's right, 21. I'm getting better. <laughs> it's only, I've been going at this for about a year, and I've reached a NHL picks uh, level of 21 people watching, and I keep on doing videos anyways. Why? Because I've got nothing else to do. That's why. You think I would do better at like production and making it look nice. Everybody always tells me to do that, but I'm too friggin' lazy. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, boys, it goes so much so that I'm now, what, two hours before the first game starts, and here I am starting my vids for this Saturday, the finest day in the land. Make sure you're all well, new boys and girls, there I said it. And apparently that offends people, which makes me want to do it more. Yeah. Okay, um... Let's see, uh, the Knights versus the Avalanche. You, you got to think that the Avalanche have got to be pretty stoked for this game. They're at home. Uh, the Knights look like they're, they're, they're letting some guys rest a little bit, um, but they're not putting out a, uh, they're putting on Flurry nonetheless. Uh, they're going to keep on trying to win. Uh, I'm going to say the Avalanche here 4-2. They just have so much to play for. Um, and they're playing so hot right now. Semyon Varlamov is playing fantastic. Back to his old way of playing. And uh, so I could, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them. Uh, Flames versus the Sharks. And I've watched the Flames the last little while. And it says to me that you have to get rid of Gallitzin. Uh, the team has given up on him. I think he's made a fool of himself in sometimes this year and the teammates themselves. They're trying to keep a, a positive way of looking at it, but I honestly think Ellison has to go. I wouldn't wait till the next year. Um, just chalk it up as made a mistake and uh, move on. Bring in somebody with more experience for that lineup and get some depth. Scoring depth is needed there. Uh, Sharks, 4-3. to three. Uh, also a huge game for the Sharks as well. So, uh, The Blues versus the Jackets. They still have Jake Allen being the uh, player they're going to go with on this game. But it's it's projected. It's not, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, I can't see. I think the Jackets have won 10 in a row. And uh, I know the Blues are going to be. They have been playing a lot better. Uh, Yo is a good coach. You're not getting rid of Yo. It's not Yo's fault. I'll tell you that right now. They got rid of Stastny because they need to get room for another goaltender. Even though Jake Allen has a huge contract, they need another goaltender. And that's the reason why Stastny had to go. Uh, Sergey, I'm going to take the Jackets. But I could see the St. Louis Blues winning this game. But at home with Tortorella, the way he gets his teams going at the end of the season, and Sergey Bobrovsky playing the way he is, I can't go against them. So I'm taking it. I'd go under on this, by the way, two to one. Uh, Rangers versus the Sabers. The Sabers played last night. It's on a back to back. Play the Sabers played Almer last night. I thought Almer would would pull it out. I don't, I didn't watch the game, so I don't know. He might have played well. But uh, on a back to back, I think I'll take the Rangers. This Georgia guy, and I didn't really know who he was, is intriguing. It's inter he's interesting to watch. Um, I think I'll take the Rangers here just on a flyer, three to two. Um, Blackhawks versus the Islanders. There's no, uh, um, oh, what's his name? <laughs> I'll come back to it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Taves. There's no Taves. And, uh, this, the backbone seems to have fallen out of the Blackhawks. They just haven't had goaltending all year ever since Crawford went down. Crawford probably would have won a Vesna this year if he would have stayed healthy. Um, I'm thinking the Islanders, and you take it over on this one because their defense is not very good without DeHaan and who else? I can't remember. There's a couple. Mayfield, and it's not very good. And their goaltending, Halak is eh, not good enough for that defense. But still, that being said, I think they'll out-offense them tonight and win about like 5-3, to three, something high. Uh Tampa versus the the Devils. The Devils got everything to play for this game. Um, they're I think they're on a back to back though. Uh, Schneider played last night. They're probably going to play him tonight. They need 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 to win. 
and uh, they could win. Um, I picked them to lose to Pittsburgh last night. Um, I'm not very confident about this one. I'm taking uh, Tampa 4-3, but I wouldn't bet on this game. When you have a team that needs to win that much, they'll just they, they should outwork the other team, and they could very well win. Coyotes versus the Panthers. Panthers got everything to play for. Coyotes don't. Um, watch out for Darcy Kemper, though. They're going to put him back in net. Uh, he's got something to prove, and he certainly could win this game on his own. He's that good. I think he's he's ex he's an extremely good keeper. Now I don't know if he's going to be top top notch. I think you know maybe Dubnik level, but still very good. Um, and James Reimer apparently is going to be conf is confirmed for the Panthers, but he has been playing very well his last couple games. I just think that the Florida offense is can't is not going to be able to be contained by the Yotes. So I'm going to take. The Panthers, 4-3. to three. Uh, The Senators versus the Hurricanes. I, From one watching the Hurricanes, um, there's another guy who I have been selling Peters all along. And I'm, I really don't like the fact that they have to let him go, but they do. Uh, and it's not his fault. The team did not have uh, that goaltending. You, it's, coaches, coaches can make goaltenders better. But sometimes you make them as best as they can be, and they still suck. And they, you've got to find something, do something, and maybe get something more out of Darlene. Anyways, the team doesn't look good. I'm going to take the Senators, even with Mike Condon and Ned, who hasn't been playing stellar this year. I'm going to take them. Uh, I could see an over here, like 5-4, to four, something like that. Um Montreal won last night, crazy enough, and but I don't think they can beat the Washington Washington Capitals tonight. Uh, I think Washington will win pretty handily. I'll say five two. Ah, uh, see Maple Leafs and Detroit Red Wings. I got to take the Leafs all day here. They're playing fantastic. Um, I'm going to say five to two. Wild versus the the Predators. Um, this is a tough one to pick. I could see the Wild winning this, actually. But without Spurgeon, it really changes their defense a lot. I'm going to take the Preds. I'm going to say 3-2, but I wouldn't bet on this game at all. And uh, Talbot against Quick. Um, the Oilers have been playing well, but Sekera and Clefbaum are out. That team, without those two players, is like a, such a big difference in, in how good of a team they are. They're, they, I, I do like Bear a lot better. Um, I think Nurse is going to is still is very good, but besides that, I don't like their defense at all without those two guys. I just can't see them winning like that, and that to me is the crux of their problem. It's not coaching. It wasn't. Uh, I don't know whatever else you can come. I've heard them come up with. Everybody avoids the most important thing that is their problem. They have a very poor transition game, and it has nothing to do with their forwards not playing properly. It has everything to do with a defense that doesn't know how to move the puck out of the zone. That's it. That's why they miss the playoffs, period. Anyways, LA's got too much to play for. I'm taking them 4-2. to two. That's my full 42%, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, subscribe. Get your vat of Jaime's and your don't My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Hit the bell. Have a great day. That's my full 42. Lots of love to ya.